Hello everyone, my name is Juni Che, and in this video, we will be showing you how to create an RX form in 3Disc Clinic. There are a few ways. You can create a patient that will bring you into the RX form, and then you can go into scanning. Or you can simply create a case, which will bring you directly to the RX form, and then you can go into scanning. There's even a faster way, where you can go directly into the scanning software if needed. We'll go over those differences with you today. Now, once you've downloaded and installed 3Disc Clinic, you'll have to locate the icon on the desktop. Once you double click on that icon, this will be the opening page. On the left hand side, you'll see your clinic account or your user information. And once you click on that, you'll see this very simple user interface. We wanted to create a smooth experience for our users because we understand that chair time can be very expensive. So we wanted to create a clear path so users can go straight into scanning if needed. Now, if you look on the top left-hand side, you'll see patients. And if I want to search for a specific patient, I can start by typing their name and you'll see a list below. Now there's another way that you can filter out information and that's by selecting this filter icon. If I select this, I have the option to select the gender, the date when the case was created, and also input the date of birth. And if I select apply, you'll see all of the information come down below. I can also sort by last case created and also by the patient's name. Now to create a new patient, I'll have to select create new patient on the bottom of the screen. Once I select this, the software will prompt me to input the patient's information. So here I'll put their first name, their last name, their email address, and then their birth date. I can select their gender and also add additional notes if needed. Now, once I select create, you'll see the patient has successfully been inputted onto the list. Now from here, I'll select add case, and this will bring me straight into the RX form. To fill out the RX form, you'll have to select the tooth or the teeth on the diagram. Once you make that selection, you'll see a list of restoration types on the left. You have your basic crown, coping, pontic, inlay onlay, veneer, post and core, and wax up. You have your screw retained options, where if you select abutment, you can select standard or custom, anatomical abutment, screw retained crown, and also wax up. Now, if I select bridge here, the software will prompt me to select the restoration first. So I'll press OK. And for demonstration purposes, I'll select 13 and 15 and select crown for both of them. For material, I'll select zirconia. For the shade, I'll select A3 and press OK. Now for 14, I have to select Pontic. The software will automatically detect the material and the shade based on my prior selections. Now, once I select all three, this is when I can select bridge and you'll see all the units are now connected. Let's go back and look at some other restoration types. We have orthodontics, so indirect bonding and also clear aligners. Within clear aligners, we have planning and also planning and production. For appliance, we have our basic appliances like night guards and splints. And for removables, we have full dentures, RPDs, flexi dentures, and copy dentures. For guided surgery, we have planning, tooth supported guide, and bone supported guide. And lastly, we have smile design. Now, if you don't need all of these restoration types, there is a way to edit these options in the settings. And we can show you how to do that in another video. Now on the right hand side, you have more information. On the top, it will be your patient's information, their name, and underneath it will show your preferred lab. This lab connection is pre-designated prior to creating the order. You can create the connection through 3Disc Cloud and send an invitation to your preferred lab. And we'll show you how to create that lab connection in another video. Underneath, you can select the delivery date. 
And these two options here, you have printed model and model scan. Printed model is just letting the lab know that you want to receive a printed model along with the fabricated restoration. Model scan is letting the software know that you're not scanning in mouth, but you're actually scanning a model. This will incorporate a different algorithm when you are scanning. Underneath we have antagonist scan, so this just means you'll have an opposing arch when you are scanning. Now here you have HR processing, high resolution processing. I recommend always keeping this on for both the maxillary and the mandibular scan. You can turn it off if needed, but my recommendation is to turn it on so that you have the highest detail when scanning. Now if I select maxillary for my pre-op scan, you'll notice that there's an additional scan stage on the left. This will allow you to scan the pre-op while you're scanning, and then after you can scan the preparation arch. Now we want to show you how to create a case rather than creating a new patient. You can create a new case by selecting create new case on the bottom here. This allows you to bypass inputting the patient's information if you are wanting to quickly scan. So once I select this, the diagram will show up just like before, and you'll have to make your basic selections. So here I'll select tooth number 14, select crown, and for the material, I'll select zirconia, and for the shade, I'll select A3. Now the options on the right are identical, other than the patient information. Right now it says direct scan because we bypassed inputting the patient's data. But if I want to link it with the patient, I can select X and start typing the patient's name. Once I make the patient selection here, it'll ask me if I want to move this case from direct scan to the patient's data. And I'll say yes. Same thing, we can select the preferred lab and the delivery date. And again, printed model or model scan can be selected as needed. And from here, I can select next, and this will bring me straight into the scanning software and we can start scanning. So let's review what we just went over. The first option was by creating a new patient, inputting their general information, from there, we went into the Rx form, filled out the form, and then went into scanning. The next option is create new case. This allows you to bypass inputting the patient's information and brings you directly into the Rx form. From there, we can fill out the information and go straight into scanning. Now, we have another option here, which is just start scanning. If you're in a tight situation, you can select start scanning and it will bring you directly into the scanning software. You can always fill out the backend information after. I hope this information was helpful and please email support at 3disc.com if you have any questions. Thank you.